coal in order to lure him into a trap and then bind him with magic. To lure him into a trap and then bind him with magic. What do you mean a trap? I don't even know where I should start. Oh, there we go. Jewel, Asasha. I've got you now. How in the world would that work? How did that happen? I just turned the grass to stone. I, it somehow turned into tentacles that wrapped around his entire body. Okay, let's put the mask on him now. After me, for done, was got done as plaster quatan. For done, was got done as plaster quatan. Who mirillo grass ferel goran. Who murillo fras ferel moran. Wrong. Once more from the beginning. For done, was got done as plaster quatan. For done, was got done as plaster quatan. Oh my god. Who grass ferel goran. Who murillo grass ferel goran. Hul be mutir kelul felan. Hul be mutir gerul felan. You've almost got it. One more verse. Juntir quatan feluntir so dan. Juntir quatan feluntir so dan. Remove the mask from him. Hey, what's wrong with you? Can you hear me? Who are you? Who am I? What's wrong with him? He has lost his memory. <sighs> Forever? Yes, but is that not what you wanted? He no longer hates you. He will help you now. Uh... Yes. There's nothing left of him. Without memories, he's just an empty husk. Not even he deserves such a fate. But, Princess, I... Shut up. You've helped me, but this goes too far. As soon as I'm in Draconia, I'll throw you away. How ungrateful you are, Princess. It'll be a pleasure to finally be rid of you. <sighs> Did I fall asleep again? Thank you for the ruby. Geron. What? Who... Who said that? Excuse me? By the twelve. Calm yourself, Geron. I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? The mask made the Fakina dull and empty. The princess loosened his bond and let him lift her over the last hurdle and finally stood before the gates of Draconia. What's going on here? Do you want to solve the riddle, Garon? Do you want to help Nuri? Yes, but... Then prove to me that you aren't stupid. Hey, traveler. Prios, save me. Draconia's gate is guarded by six elemental beings. Six beings with six riddles, which Sadia had to solve. Brothers and sisters are we, to each his element. Tell us who we are, and you too shall be known to us. You heard them. Tell the grotesque faces which element belongs to each of them, just as Sadia once did. 
and the path to Draconia will also be open to you. This game's getting weird. <laughs> Keep me fed, or I will vanish away. Keep me in check, or I will harm you. Who am I? Keep me in check, or I will harm you. Time. Keep me fed, or I will vanish away. Keep me in check, or I will harm you. Who am I? I want to say probably fire. You are fire. I am the sister with the greatest patience. I shape my treasures for eons and bear the face of the world. Who am I? I am the sister with the greatest patience. I shape my treasures for eons and bear the face of the world. Who am I? I shape my patience. Water, fire, earth. Once more. I am the sister with the greatest patience. I shape my treasures for eons and bear the face of the world. Who am I? I want to say stone. Stone never. Stone is in the same place forever. It just sort of slowly shapes over time. I think ore would be stone. You are all. I know the world like no other. One can reach through me. And yet, I hide the greatest secrets. Who am I? One can reach through me, yet I hold the greatest secrets. Probably water, maybe. Check the other ones. Like my sister, I am sometimes hot, sometimes cold, and always in motion. But unlike her, I am always the same. Who am I? Your heir. You are heir. Keep me far from my sister in the middle. First she steals my form, and then my substance. Who am I? Sister in the middle. First she steals my form, then my substance. I want to say water, maybe? Uh, of all my Ice. siblings, I was the last to come into being. I give life to all. Yet, as I give, I also take back. Who am I? Earth. You are Earth. I know the world like no other. One can reach through me. And yet, I hide the greatest secrets. You are... Who am I? You are water. You are water. And you... Keep me far from my... You are ice. You are ice. It is done. The gate to Draconia is now open to you. I don't see anything. Step closer. Don't talk, don't walk to the demon. Huh? Is he also petrified? He's holding something in his hand. A book. Geron, are you here? Brider. Ah, oh, you're still here. Is Alric upstairs? Uh, no, he... He's lying back there on the floor. The heap of dust. 
You can't be serious. Maybe you should sit down. I have to show you something. Oh, interesting. It's a diary, written by an air elementalist who lived in Draconia during Sadia's times. Here, the upcoming battle in the Gorian Desert, the Holy Army outside our gates. We were also called upon to play a part in this unparalleled bloodbath. Do you think the book will give us a clue how to find the way to Draconia? Oh, Charon, the book is the way to Draconia, just as any book could be a gate. Oh, this looks like a good passage. <clears throat> or on 19th, 590 after Bosporan's fall. Act 5 I was on my way to the laboratories of the Oradeps when Admiral Wachim caught me by surprise in the main corridor. Your attitude is unacceptable, Xerxes. In three days, the demon hordes will fall upon Aventuria. If my army is destroyed, then it'll be your ignorance which brought us down. Oh, Admiral. I know, I know, but you exaggerate. We are simple elementalists. We've withdrawn to these halls because the concerns of the world weary us. We're not warriors. You command the elements. You could set whirlwinds upon the enemy hordes with your spirits, or an infernal firestorm. Keshal Ri itself attests to your power. Floating stones are one thing. War is another. You'll have to fight your little skirmish alone. I repeated my words of the day before, uh. emphasized that we didn't see a threat to the balance of the spheres, and even permitted uh. myself a small, sophisticated pun on the military zeal of our times, oh, I that was which, him. to my disappointment, went over his head. And then the spirits at the gate suddenly opened the portal. Are you expecting someone? No. Hmm. Welcome to the Council of the Elements. How, uh, can I help you? Is this Draconia? Yes, the Council of the Elements in Draconia. You require the services of an elementalist? My name is Sadia. I come from Fazar. Fazar? A long way. Did you come the whole way on foot? Yes. I'm here to join the Holy Army. I want to fight in the Gore. I'm afraid I have nothing to do with that. Let me know if you learn any more about him. What can you do? Can you fight? Use magic? I'm looking for a prince. I'm supposed to give him this mask. Zatsis, take her to the prince. But I'd rather... At once. <laughs> if you'd follow me... I must admit we are a bit, uh, how shall I put it, surprised by your arrival. Not many people stray here. To be honest, it's also a blessing for me. The Admiral is beginning to get on my nerves. Did you know that Draconia was built by dragons? All the wonders of this world in one place. And behind every passageway lies a new surprise. And that man wants us to drop everything and fight in his ridiculous little war. Can you imagine it? May I ask what's so special about this mask? It takes away people's memories and turns them into slaves. That doesn't sound very pleasant. I was told to bring it here. That's all I know. It looks very old. As though from a very long forgotten time. Ah, time. Isn't time an astonishing thing? At first glance, everything in Draconia seems so gigantic, and we seem so small. But that is nothing in comparison to the monumental size of the time which slumbers in these halls. According to our understanding, this is the oldest structure in Aventuria. Almost as old as time itself. Time. I hope you have healthy lungs. 
This stairway is horrible. I have healthy thighs. And here's another ancient wonder that leaves us absolutely awestruck. A star system, but fascinatingly, not our own. Who built it? And why? Does it show the past? Or a distant future? I propose that it shows both. And another staircase. My God. He's floating. Ah, the zucchini. I love zucchini. Oh Why is God. Draconia so empty? I thought you were about to go to war. Where's the army? Wrong. We, that is the council, have decided to stay out of this war. We're being pressured to change our minds, but as long as the balance of the spheres isn't disturbed, we see no reason to do so. Blast it. Does that mean there's no army here? Yes, there is. Over there. The Flying Fortress Keshal Ri. A masterpiece of elemental air magic. Do you have any more questions before I take you to the prince? Uh... Who is the prince? The fortress is carried by hundreds upon hundreds of air spirits bound in special crystals, so-called floating stones. The prince is a master of domination magic. He ensures that the spirits remain in the stones and do what is asked of them. But why a prince? As Admiral Vahim always puts it so nicely, in times like these, one takes what one can get. The Holy Army is in the fortress? Yes, an entire army of clerics. A second army is currently marching from Zorgan to Gore. In three days, the two forces will meet right before the plateau and enter the battle together. All that effort just to die. Tragic. What's wrong with your legs? I was born with very weak legs. So weak that they didn't grow with the rest of my body. Since then, an air spirit has carried me through life. An air spirit. Take me to the fortress. I must see this prince. And once again, you draw hasty, false conclusions. The prince is no longer in the fortress, but rather here, in this hole. <laughs> Take my hand. Why is he in a hole? Right, there we are. The fuck? <laughs> I lured you into a pretty trap, eh? Yes. The prince is a prisoner, and yes, you played into his hands. Do you have anything to say in your defense? What the fu- What did he do? He tampered with the floating stones of the flying fortress. He is evil, and thus we've taken him prisoner. You don't know anything about this? This room is a prison? Draconia has no dungeon, so we had to do a bit of thinking. We're directly above the Sphere's observatory here. The magic of the observatory keeps the matrix of this room stable, which makes it impossible to do magic here. You understand the principle? No. Well, it's really quite simple. What does the Prince want with the mask? Who knows? I didn't even know until now that such an artifact existed. Let me go. I brought the mask here under a misunderstanding. I'm innocent. I know. On the way up here, I cast a few spells on you. I know that you mean no evil. Well, then? Hmm. Before I let you go, give me the mask, your staff, and the dagger. It can be no other way. Um. Here, how about... Let me reach into my inventory. Ah, let me see. Let me see. Let me get, I, I got it right here. You can take that from me, buddy. I'm going to kill you. Hmm. 
Now, all that's missing is the staff and the mask. Um, take that. And now, the mask. What's wrong with him? I'll be right back. Whoever you are, thank you for bringing it here. Had I known you were behind this, I would have thought twice about it. Hello, Kasim. It's me, Sadia. Sadia? <laughs> Sadia! How long has it been? Since you had me thrown out of the palace. Long enough to leave those times behind me. As if anything has changed since then. I'm still the sole heir of the Mogul dynasty. And you, you're nothing. That's where you're mistaken. I'll go into battle against the demon hordes, and I will triumph. All of Avastan will know my name, and everyone will fall to their knees before me in awe. <laughs> you really believe that? You can't change who you are, Sadia. You'll always be the same person you always were. Second class. Insignificant. My name, on the other hand, my name will be Immortal. Take my hand. I'll take you to a more comfortable place. How do you think they knew each other? He is a prince. She's a princess. Maybe they're siblings. What I find much more puzzling is how the maid knew about their conversation. He wasn't there. And yet it's written in his journal. Keep reading. I took the woman to her chambers. It was obvious that she knew the prince. Yet I still couldn't find any malevolence in her. In order to keep an eye on her, I commanded one of my invisible air spirits to continue watching her. Aha! 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 I'll leave you alone now. Get some rest. You'll need your strength tomorrow when we send you home. I didn't come here only to be sent back. You were the instrument of a traitor. I doubt Admiral Vahim's going to welcome such a person to his fortress. Let me talk to him. There's water on the table. I'll have fresh vegetables brought to you soon. We'll meet again at dawn. How about Good zucchini? Night. If you won't talk to the Admiral, then I'll do it myself. And please stay in your room. No. Blah. Flying fortress. Tomorrow the fortress will set out, and I'll be on it. The world must recognize once and for all what I'm made of. <laughs> the, I must say this game is so far isn't as good as the first one. Just like most sequels, they usually don't live up to the first. It feels like wax. Why do they need wax plants, though? Never. I'm tired. But if I fall asleep, they'll take me back to Fazar at dawn. That must not happen. Mustn't look at it for too long. I traveled the Rashtulian Wall, so I've already seen more than enough plants. I must join the battle. Let me talk to the Admiral. I'm truly sorry, but no. And now... Please go back and sleep. <gasps> um, I... that'll never work. I don't know what I was supposed to do. No, I'm not going to do that again unless I. Yes, that's a floating city over there. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> um. How about. There's nothing else in this room. Maybe I should. Better not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. That'll never. I don't even know where I should. 
what I don't know what to do now. I'm, I'm using the only items I have, honestly. I can't lose my head now. That won't lead to those, there's only those three items that interact with. I used every item on them. I don't see any. I'm not going. I mustn't. My Almandin. I would never. What is. <gasps> okay, game, you're being really weird. Find a way to reach the Admiral unseen. Find the leaves are swaying in the wind, but there's no wind here. Hey, you, you're an air spirit, aren't you? Come to me. Talk to me. Why are you here? What the hell is... Uh... Let's play. I mean, let's play. Let's play hide and seek. Uh. We'll both hide from the mages. Hmm. What shall we do? They would find us right away in this room. What the? F uh. What the? Question mark. Hi, everybody. Is that her? Hey, what's yes. up? But what is she doing here, Admiral? I thought the evil mage had locked you up in his tower. Yes. But I jumped out of the window. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Eh, Wahim? Take me with you to the battle. I won't disappoint you. And she has courage. Yes, but no weapon. Besides, she almost played into Kasim's hands. I think it's too risky. I didn't know about the prince's plan. I heard. But how do I know that you won't unknowingly aid him again? As long as we don't know his plans, I won't take any further risks. What sort of weapon do I need in order to come with you? We're fighting against demons, so something blessed would be good. Bring me some kind of weapon and my companion will take care of the blessing. He is a deont. <laughs> Dionts would be more like it. Ariarchos, please. What do you know about the battle? It is said that the demon lord Borborad is planning an invasion of the damned in the Gorian Desert, and Rohal the Wise will oppose him. Rohal's troops have been preparing for the big day for months in Zorgan. Meanwhile, more and more demon scum are forcing their way out of Borborad's portal into the Gorian Desert. A lot of effort for a slaughter that will only last a few hours. However it may end, it will change Aventuria forever. What will it be like to fight against demons? Horrible. There's nothing more terrible than being exposed to the madness of such a creature. They don't act or think as we do. Their bodies are not made of flesh and blood. And they're almost invulnerable to common magic. How does one kill something like that? With blessed weapons. A lot of luck, courage, and a gigantic flying fortress. 
Why a flying fortress? No matter what, we must prevent the plague of demons from spreading. That's why we're carrying the battle directly to Borbarad's door. No living thing has ever faced so many creatures from the Nether Hells as we will in three days' time. You should know, demons are tough.